Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 11. The hotels and motels around the I-75 exit in East Ridge have become just absolute infamous for bug infestations, filth, and crime. That's right. City leaders say those businesses hurt the image of the city, and they're trying to pass an ordinance to crack down on extended-stay motels as well as stopping new ones from coming in. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sparato joins us now live from tonight's city council meeting in East Ridge. Good evening, Alyssa. Good evening, Kim Cavan. Let me just first off by saying that it was a really long meeting. It actually just ended about a half hour ago. But we did tell you we have a new development that they did pass the first reading. Now let me give you a background on what that means. That would mean that the city of Eastridge will not allow any new extended stay hotels. However, that the ones that are here are ones like Superior Creek Inn and Days Inn. Those will be grandfathered in, meaning they can operate as normal. But however, the ordinance will say that if they cease operations for 180 days, they cannot come back as operating. Now residents I spoke with say that this ordinance is just a mask to the ongoing problem here in East Ridge. You know, what difference does it make? Because the ones that are presently causing problems are still here. Uh, the only thing that will, like I said previously, that will impact it is if they add on and they won't be allowed to be extended stays. The city of Eastridge is expected to vote on this again in just two weeks, and that's when, if it passes for the second time, it will be enforced. Now, in the meantime, if this does do pass, city officials say they will try to put harsher penalties and violations on the operating extended stay motels. Reporting live in Eastridge, I'm Alyssa Sperato, News Channel 9. Alyssa, thank you very much.